Welcome back to AM Northwest. Are you in a career slump? Is your life going downhill? Here to share some simple ways to revitalize your home and your spirit. Please welcome back numerologist and feng shui expert Sunita Sitara. Good to see you, Sunita. Thank you. You're going to have to watch the tape back of Jay doing an impersonation of you. It was very I funny. Need to. Yeah. Yes, I'm taping it. I'm so glad. <laughs> okay. I was talking with the with your next guest in the green room, and I didn't get to see him doing that. Well, but, let's talk about why you're here, and that's yes. about that's about feng shui and careers. How does feng shui and career path? work together? Well, that's a great question. You know, um, the career area of your home most likely is the front door. So if you hang a chime by your front door, that's going to let people hear about you. Oh. So that's the reason so to So make hang sure it. there's a chime by the front door. By the front okay. door, exactly. And it's a good idea to have two black pots um, with red flowers in them. So the black is a very powerful color. So is red. It's the yin and yang of colors. Uh -huh. So the black is kind of like also represents water. And what the black is going to do is bring opportunities to you. Okay, because I've, I've got geraniums in front of our house and the chimes, okay. but the, the pots are not black. What, what, so what do you not like black? Well, the, number one, because it's a very, very strong and a stabilizing color. But if you don't like black, could you go with another color that it's would work? It's okay to go ahead and go with another color. I do like to have, maybe you could have a little bit of a black accent on it. Oh, okay. Something okay, I can like do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe black rocks in your pot. That would oh, work also. Oh, there we go. Okay, yes. I can do that. Totally. You don't really have to. I mean, I can understand some people may not like the color black, you yeah. know, right by their front door. So you can, you can improvise. Right. And you say you have a red painting nearby. Well, you want to go ahead and put a red painting in your fame and reputation area. And that is also by the front door? No, that's in the back of your home. And okay. you can look on the uh, on my website to see the Pagua map because okay. we've done that before right. also. So if you put a red painting on there, we have it right here. There. So. So the fame and reputation area is going to be the far middle back of your home. Okay. Uh, but you also say like your front door. Red is a good color for a front door. Front door is great to have it red, black, or green. Okay. And if you are not crazy about those colors, it's okay. You can have different accents by your front door. But think of those colors as accents at least, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes. I love the look of a red front door, though. I it's know. so pretty. It, it is. And it just brings in a lot more uh, opportunities your way. You are big on making sure that we clean out all the junk in our house. Yes. And so one of the things you say if we want to give our career a boost is to donate items from your home. So get rid right. of the stuff you're not using essentially, yes. right? It's, it's a great idea. If ever you feel like that your uh, energy is stalled or you are not uh, getting the things that you need to get or the way that you need to energize yourself is to donate your time, donate clothes, and donate money. Um, you say move the furniture around, dust and, and clean. Why is that important to feng shui and career? It's very important because you can have so much stagnant energy in your home. So even if you move your furniture just like two inches this way, that is going to shift that energy. Dusting is very, very important. Okay, and uh, feng shui in general, for folks who don't know, it's like the flow of energy. Yes. And you want to keep the flow going. Right. right? And the, the energy enters your home through your front door. Mm -hmm. And even if you don't use your front door, it's a good idea to go out there. I mean, I sweep the walkway to my front door every single day, but yeah. I'm a little bit anal about it. <laughs> so you could do it at least once a week. Right. You, you, say, you say cook at home more. Yes, cooking, I mean, the kitchen is your wealth generator. So the more you cook at home, I mean, there are so many advantages. You're going to cook fresh food at home. Mm -hmm. You're going to, you are feeding your family at home on your stove. That's really, that, that's letting, you know, that energy know that you are, um, you are wealthy in okay. in certain ways. And should you have, um, you talked to about having fresh cut flowers in your kitchen. Right, and any time you bring in fresh energy into your kitchen, that's really a great Because you're big on the... staying away from the artificial flowers. Yes, but some people may be allergic to them. Oh, right. So it's okay to go ahead and bring in silk flowers, but if you can tolerate the fresh cut flowers, fresh. do those. And move that energy around. Always yes. good tips. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.